Tun wir jetzt schon. Stimmt. Ja, ich komme. Guten Tag miteinander. Ich bin Heidi. Ich komme von der Schweiz. Ich habe mega gerne Käse. Das ist jetzt ein Emmentaler. Und Schocke. Schweizer Schocke, natürlich. Wir braucht es nicht zum Leben, nur mehr Käse und Schocke. Ah, auf meine Uhr bin ich dann auch noch stolz. Die ist nämlich gemacht in China. Nicht so wichtig. <lacht> so sind wir Schweizer halt, gell? <lacht> Hat viel Spass beim Video. Let me disprove today the myth of stereotypes about Swiss people. Let's begin. Stereotype number one. All Swiss people are either backwoods farmers or rich bankers. Well, I don't know any banker or any farmer in person. And I'm not rich. I never milk the cow. And I actually have never seen a bank from the inside. Just the post office. But let me show you my wallet. Now you have the one time chance only to see in a Swiss woman's wallet what is inside. I show you all my money. Be prepared. Um, yeah. Here you go. That's all my money. And 70% of my friend's wallet doesn't look any different. So, yeah, now you know the truth. Actually, we are all poor. Stereotype about Swiss people number two. Swiss people do only eat cheese and chocolate. To be honest, half of the population in Swiss is lactose intolerant, so am I. And the myth that Swiss people don't eat foreign food. It's just crap. Well, look at this. Here we have mochis, dates, jelly beans. You see, we love foreign food very much. Stereotype number three. Swiss people are always on time. I'm freezing my ass off here and my friend is 30 minutes late and I'm still waiting to hear from her. No, we're definitely not on time. I can be happy if she arrives eventually. Stereotype number four. We all have names like Heidi, Hans, Gritli, Woody, Hans-Jörg. Um, no. Okay, maybe our parents have been named like this, but nowadays people like to give their children names like Justin, Emma, Marvin, Zoe, Lily, Liam... Uh, strange world. Or if we try to speak English, we have a bit of a problem with the K. Stereotype number five. We all have a weird accent and because of our creepy weird language, we can't speak in another language properly. I bet you think we sound like this politic Germans. When I Hochdeutsch spreche, then habe ich ein bisschen Mühe. Should sound like that if you have nearly no accent. Ich kann sogar sehr gut Hochdeutsch sprechen. Wenn es sein muss, kann ich auch in einem anderen Dialekt sprechen. Wie zum Beispiel ein kleiner Mix aus Österreichisch und Bayerisch. Es ist speziell, wie sich die Stimme verändert. Let's try that funny stuff again in French. A Swiss German with an accent would probably say Rein never plus. A Swiss German with nearly no accent would say Rien never plus. Or let's try a sentence in Swiss, Spanish and actual Spanish. Soy una chica suiza y me gusta el queso. Probably. And that's how it sounds from a Swiss German without much of an accent. Soy una chica suiza y me gusta el queso. I hope that sounds right. But that's not the most part of Swiss, sadly, so this is kind of true. And as a bonus, to prove to you that not all Swiss people are cold-hearted, egoistic, overcautious, and introverted bitches, I got out on the street and tried to make a few people smile into my camera. I hope you enjoy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, yes, you know what? It was pretty hard to find someone who would look into the camera and actually uh, just look at me because it's Christmas dress and. Uh, uh, okay. Let's be honest with you. To quote Miss Sarah Pax11 from Instagram, you are so right. No one dares to say that, but a lot of Swiss people are polite, formal, everyone minds their own business, quite socially awkward with strangers, shy and sometimes arrogant. But let's be honest, that's not most of the part. And as much you think Switzerland sucks, I have to tell you something, world and Game of Thrones fans. We have something quite better than Jason Momoa and Kit Harrington. You think it's not possible? Well, look at him. Hallo zusammen, ich bin der Schweizer Jon Snow. Äh, wir Schweizer sind sehr nette Leute. Äh, übrigens, das Video habe ich für Davina gemacht. Well, well, if that's not the child of Karl Drogo and Jon Snow, check out his Instagram and his YouTube account. He can draw and he plays guitar and he's just awesome, so check him out. Go on, there's nothing more here. We're done. Swiss is boring, except for him.